morning to Holland High School. Will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Good morning, Tallinn High School. I'm Grace O'Connell, and here are your morning announcements. Attention all students taking a semester one AP course. If you plan on taking the AP exam in May, you need to register by Monday, November 9th. Please bring in a $100 check to Mrs. Richards in the counseling department. Attention all students. Do you like to draw and paint, create anime on your tablet, write poetry or short stories, take pictures, create sculptures, then Sidetracks is the club for you. We meet to write, draw, paint, and just create. COVID-19 cut short our plans for the magazine last year. Let's not let that happen again this school year. Even if you cannot make the in-person or remote meetings, you can submit your art, poems, and short stories for publication. We will be publishing digitally and in print. Everyone is invited, artists, authors, and those interested in design and production of print media. See you Tuesday at 1.45 in room 101 or email Mrs. Mendica for a Google Meet link. Attention sophomores, applications for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar are now available. Hobby is an excellent leadership opportunity for sophomores who want to develop their leadership talents and become stronger leaders in their communities. If you are interested in being selected as a Tallinn High School's only hobby representative, please come to the counseling office for an application. The seminar is tentatively scheduled for the first weekend in June 2021. Location is to be de determined. Applications are due Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Dear World Language Club members, if you were not able to make the meeting on Thursday, please come today at 2 o'clock to Mrs. Hoyt's room to make the Day of the Dead gravestones, watch Coco, and have snacks. Remember to pay your dues. This week's Student Council's Mental Wellness Week. They are featuring music, raffle baskets, and other activities to raise awareness of how important our mental health is. The raffle baskets will be offered to all students and staff at the ticket booth during all lunch waves this week. Payments of $1 or more enter you into the raffle and count as a donation to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Winners will be announced on Monday. And always remember, be kind to your mind. Uh, the Tallinn High School's Teams Club is back and is better than ever. This year we are associated with the National Technology Student Association. This gives us the opportunity to participate in 39 nationwide competitions, 32 of which are virtual. Competitions are individual or team format and cover a variety of topics from board game design, children's stories, and fashion design to forensic science, engineering, and coding. We will, hold, we will hold our first virtual meeting on Wednesday, October 28th at 10.50. Scan the QR code on the posters around the building to join the Google Classroom course or email Mrs. Penny. Everyone is welcome to attend the first meeting and check out the resources on the Google Classroom location. The Tallinn High School Technology Student Association is learning to lead in a technical world. And now for some PSAs. Tallinn High School has participated in the nationwide teams competition for decades and recently qualified for the national conference. This year, the teams club has joined the National Technology Student Association. The Technology Student Association, or TSA, is a national nonprofit organization of more than 250,000 middle and high school students engaged in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. The mission of the Technology Student Association is to enhance personal development, leadership, and career opportunities in STEM. TSA members learn to lead in a technical world. TSA offers 39 high school events, 32 of which are offered virtually. Examples of high school competitions are architectural design, digital video production, forensic science, future technology teacher, and software development. Students benefit from a wide variety of challenging STEM competitions and a customized leadership program. 
Students learn team building and have the opportunity to compete at regional, state, and national conferences. This year's national conference in June will be held virtually and in person from Orlando, Florida. LEAP is TSA's comprehensive three-part leadership program for middle and high school members and chapters. LEAP is based on the Student Leadership Challenge, the five practices for becoming an exemplary leader. Contact Mrs. Petty for more information about joining or scan the QR code on the posters around the building. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Fontaine from the High School Library, but I'm actually recording this in my personal relaxation space at home because the Student Council asked me if I could share a relaxation technique during our Wellness Week, and I'm so happy to do so. And um, we're gonna do something called a double exhale. It's possibly something that you've learned with me before, maybe in chemistry last year or English, PE. Um, there are lots of times where I teach this technique and it's such a soothing, reliable one that you can do anywhere, anytime. And the reason it's helpful is because breath helps to bring you back to your body and to yourself. We get caught up in so many things, whether it's everything that's going on with our changing schedules, what's happening nationally, what's happening globally, maybe just what's happening in your classes. It can be hard to settle in to ourselves and into stillness and to um, really focus on what's going on in our bodies and our minds. And sometimes we don't want to, but a breathing practice like a double exhale can be a really nice, very quick reset. So I'm going to encourage you to close your eyes. I know it can be a little awkward if you are in the classroom, um, maybe with people you know well, maybe with people you don't know so well. Um, I just want you to know you're welcome to do so. And I'm gonna talk you through it. So for a double exhale, it's exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna start by taking a normal breath in. Exhale when you're ready. Just a normal exhalation. We're kind of measuring our breaths. So you're gonna do one more. And out. And when you focus on your breath, hopefully you can find that there's like a bottom to your exhalation, right? Like right before you inhale again, there's a, a stopping point. And what we're gonna do with our double exhales, we're gonna extend it just a little bit. You don't wanna force it, um, and if it feels uncomfortable, just listen to your breath instead. So we're gonna do one together. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale again. And you can breathe normally, and hopefully you could feel that kind of turning point where your exhalation was about to become an inhalation and we're just gonna extend it. We're gonna do that two more times in a row. And this is a practice you don't need to do many times. I really recommend three in a row at the most. So settle into your seat, close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. Inhale, exhale, exhale again, inhale, exhale, exhale again. You can breathe normally. Take your time opening your eyes. You might be able to feel some changes in your body or in your mind. This is a sweet, short practice. You can do it anytime, anywhere. No one has to know you're doing it. You can do it with your eyes opened if um, the circumstance calls for that. And I'm so happy to share this with you and also answer any questions you might have. So if you would like any more tips on relaxation, um, or if you just have questions about how this works for you, please feel free to send me an email or you can stop by the library. Have a wonderful day and stay well. That's all for announcements. Everyone have an awesome day.